The spawn menu pops up when you hold down Q. The left half is used to spawn stuff. The right is used to select and configure the tools that you use in the game. On the left of the menu you can view different categories by clicking on their names. The number on the right shows how many objects are in that category. Spawn an object by clicking on its icon. Select a tool by clicking on its name. The panel on the right is the context menu. It allows you to configure the tool you have selected. You will be holding the tool when you close the spawn menu. You can open the context menu on its own by holding down C. With the context menu open, you can use the tools by left or right clicking on the screen. This concludes the spawn menu. First of all, look at the ground and open the spawn menu by holding down the Q key. The left of the menu shows the object that you can spawn. Click the wooden crate to spawn it. Pick up the crate using the fizz gun. You can rotate it by holding down E and moving your mouse. Right click while holding it to freeze it in place. Open the spawn menu and select the wheel tool. A new menu appears on the right. This defines which keys are used to control our wheels. In this case select 7 and 4. For our model choose the saw blade. Torque defines how powerful the wheel's motor is. When you close the spawn menu, you'll be holding the tool gun. Place the wheels by shooting where you want them to be. Press E while looking at a wheel to reverse its rotation direction. Choose the fizz gun and press reload or touch the box to unfreeze it. You should now be able to control the wheels with keys 7 and 4 on your numpad. Spawn a ragdoll from the spawn menu, then pull up the fizz gun. Remember, you can rotate an object by holding down E and moving the mouse around. Ragdolls can be tricky to pose. You should try to place a torso first. Right-click when you're happy with the position, and that part of the ragdoll will freeze into place. You can reposition it by grabbing it again. Getting the pose to look realistic can take some tweaking. Once you're done, you can use the camera to take screenshots. Right-clicking and dragging will zoom in and out. Left-click will take a photo.